Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a working cache register. Now this is something that you would probably use in some sort of role play or if you have a little shop in Minecraft on a server with your friends, this is something that you would build. But let's go ahead and let's take a look at it now. So how it actually works is you would need a customer and a shopkeeper. So we're going to be playing the role of both here. So someone wants to buy, uh, let's say, uh, a diamond sword here. Someone wants to buy that. We've set our price to diamond swords to be uh, six emeralds. So all we have to do is right click this button or press this button six times. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. Now, if I'm the customer over this side, I can see that the price that the shopkeeper has set here is six emeralds. So what I have to do is actually put six emeralds into this hopper here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you can hear, there was a sound there indicating that we have paid for the item. So we can now take it. Um, the shopkeeper will be given a receipt, which then can be given to the customer and they can uh, take that home and <laughs> I don't know it's just for extra effect but now I'm gonna show you guys how you can build this so the materials that you are going to need is five redstone dust one redstone repeater two redstone comparators two droppers one hopper one block of redstone one chest one stone button you can get a wooden one but I would suggest a, a stone one instead because it's quicker two note blocks and 64 blocks of your choice yeah so the first thing that we are going to do is dig a five wide by three long by two deep hole so let's go ahead and let's do that now so dig out one block here and then let's go ahead and dig four blocks to the right here so one two three four two towards the back here four to the left and then just back to the start dig out these center blocks and then just dig this hole down one more layer. Now you want to face the front of your hole here and what we're going to do is place a dropper here facing towards the right. Place a chest in front of it. Then on the other side here we're going to get a block of our choice. Place it diagonally down here uh, relative right there and then have a redstone comparator coming out of it. Lead that into a block, then under it we're going to place a piece of redstone dust. Uh, from that piece of redstone dust we're going to place a redstone comparator facing towards the back. Redstone repeater. Then here we're going to dig out this block. Redstone on top. We're then going to lead this repeater here into a dropper facing upwards. After this dropper, we're going to place a piece of redstone dust here and then one going towards the front. We're going to dig out these two blocks to the right of the redstone and then also down one more layer. Then place your note blocks to the right of the blocks that the redstone dust is on, making sure that there's still the hole underneath. We're going to head back up to the top here. In front of this dropper here, dig out this block and then place a hopper going into the side of it here, so crouch. When you do this, then place the block while right clicking the side of it. Then we're going to place a block on top of the dropper. Again, crouch, then right click. And on the back of it, place your stone button. Now that is the construction complete. Now I know it doesn't look like a cache register yet, but we'll get to that further in the video. Right now, we're actually going to configure it. So what you're going to need is to get nine stacks of emeralds. So go ahead, do that. And then you need to fill up this dropper here with the emeralds. So completely fill it up. And then you'll notice that it actually triggers the note blocks. Now in this dropper here, you want to fill this up with your pieces of receipt paper. So let's go ahead and get that. So you can have paper, you can rename them to receipt if you want. Which I might do. Then pop that into there and then you can change around the tunes of the blocks here so 
So that's five times, maybe this one. Ten times, I think. And then that is it. Now before we decorate it, I'm going to explain how this actually works. So let's just go ahead and let's start by when the um, shopkeeper actually inputs the amount the customer has to pay. Well, when we press this button here, it shoots one of these emeralds into the chest to the left here. So as you can see when I press that, one of the emeralds goes into the chest here. So basically the price right now is one emerald the customer has to pay. Maybe it's supposed to be five, so we'll press this um, four more times. So the price is five emeralds. So in this dropper here now, there is five emeralds actually missing from it. And what this causes um, these comparators here to do is, well, this is de detecting how many items are in it and it's sending out a signal strength based upon how full this actually is. Now what we've got here is a comparator will only output if the signal strength is as strong as a full kind of powered piece of redstone. So if we look over this um, here, if you look at the top right here, you'll see that power says 15, but over here power is 14. This power here has to be 15 for this comparator to actually output, so it has to be the same as this one here. So that happens when this dropper is actually full, and um, because we've got five emeralds missing, once those are placed in there, this is going to send out a signal, which powers this redstone repeater, powers this dropper, sends the person the receipt, and then powers this redstone over here, which plays the little tune to indicate that they've paid the, m the money. Now let's go ahead and let's cover this up now and let's start decorating it a little bit. So you can pretty much cover up everything here. Um, this bit here is where you're gonna get, going to have to get a little creative with your design. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. So what I like to do is here, we're gonna put a slab over this chest here. For here, we're actually going to, uh, we might get, oh yeah, does that look good? Does that look good? Yeah, it looks good. So we're going to put a stair there, stair here. We're actually going to replace this block here with a grass block. Now the actual cash register bit, we're going to pretend it is going to be a stair here. So we're simply just going to place that there. Uh, on the front of it, what you can do is get an item frame and an emerald. Place that there, emerald there. So this is the cash register. We can also get a sign, place that in front of this slab here, saying price, price is down there, so as you can see it's 5, so let's go ahead and let's actually pay this, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, throw that into there, and there we go, and then as you can see over here, um, well the shopkeeper would have been given the receipt and then you simply just give it to the customer. So guys, that is going to end off this redstone tutorial today. Hopefully I have enjoyed. If you did, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button. Uh, if you want to see more redstone tutorials, make sure you go ahead as well and subscribe. I suggest you press that post notification button so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And I will see you guys later. Bye!